Hughes Omnes, welcome to part two of this uh, lesson on numbers on the new Medi. This will help you prepare for all of the things that we're doing, except for time. That'll come up in a separate video. So one of the things that we've talked about are the distributives, singly, one by one, bini, two by two or two at a time, trini, Quaterni, Queeni, these are pretty easy to identify because they have a number and the ending is I. There's no single word for these in English. Then we have the multiplicatives like simplex, which is single or simple, duplex, triplex is triple, and we go on and on from there. And we have the adverbs. Semel, this is one that just has to be memorized. It means once. Bis is twice, ter as in tertia or tertiary is thrice, quater is four times, there is no word for it in English, and quinquiens is five times, again there's no word for this in English. So these are different forms of numbers but they're not as common as the ordinals and the cardinals which were mentioned in the previous video. We've also talked about the Magni Numeri, the big numbers. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 900 are declinable. That means that they will be shown in different cases and in different genders. So we have Ducenti, or Ducenti, or Ducenta. Du, you know, is 2. Kent, you should know, is 100. So we get CC, 200. Trecenti. T-R-E should tell you that you're looking at a three. Okay, and it looks like our English three. Three, tre. And the Kent makes it a hundred, so we have three hundred. Quadrigenti, four hundred. Note the four C's. Quingenti, five hundred. Kent has now become Ghent. That's okay, because C and G are basically the same. Roman numeral D for five hundred. Ses Genti. 600, septigenti, octigenti, octigenti, octigenta. Again, we have different genders here. D with three C's for the 800. And then the nasty nine, non genti, non gentai, non genta. D with four C's, and there's 900. Okay? And of course, we have mille. The nines can be written in other ways as well, and those are shown in your book. Mille of course, is the letter M, and it's a thousand. These are the ordinal numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What's special about these is that they are declinable along with the numbers one, two, and three. So four to 199 are not declinable. And now we go to the ordinals, which are all declinable. So ducan, ducantesimus, there's the du, there's the kent, and that simus is almost like our th. So we get two hundredth, tre centesimus, three hundredth, and we go on and on. These are very long, quadringentesimus, four hundredth, five hundredth, and so on. Okay, you should always look to see what the core number is. So when you get to non gentesimus. While it looks long and daunting, you should know that 9, it can be shown as non or noem. And there's your gent. And this thing right here, like I said, is basically your th. Okay, and this is 900th. And millesimus, millesima, millesimum is 1,000th. Once we have our numbers learned, we go into the genitive of measure, which for our purposes is pretty easy, because all we're going to do is use one unit of measurement, the foot. And measurement comes in the genitive case. We use the genitive plural for most of our examples. And there it is right there. So pedum is of the feet. 
or of feet, like a number of feet, a number of miles, a number of inches. So we can hear the genitive even in the English. So when we have omnis decim pedum, we have a river of 10 feet. Vir sex pedum, a man of six feet. Nawis wiginti, wiginti, excuse me, pedum, a ship of 20 feet. The yellow tells you that we're looking at the genitive. The number is not in genitive right here because these numbers are not declinable. However, omnis quingentorum pedum, well, quin we know is five, and gent is hundred, and that orum means of, a river of 500 feet. Okay, so because this one is declinable, the orum there in yellow, we can remember that the number, if it has a genitive form, will be used for measurement. The problem with these is we don't have dimension. And that's where we go on to the next piece of this puzzle, the last piece, actually. For dimension, we add the ablative. Okay, so there are three dimensions that we need to know. Omnis quinque pedum altitudine. Omnis, as we just said, is a river. Quinque is five. And pedum is of feet. Altitudine, well, altitudo is depth or height. So we'll get a river five feet in depth or a river five feet deep or a five foot deep river. Omnis quinque pedum latitudine and the yellow here, the yellow E that you see tells us that we're looking at the ablative because these are third declension words. Well, latitude is connected to things that go sideways. Okay, so we're thinking of width or breadth. A river five feet in width, a river five feet wide, a river fi a five foot wide river. Our third dimension is going to be from longitudo, which is long, omnis quingentorum pedum longitudine, a river. Queen is five, gent is hundred. Okay, so of 500 feet in length, or a river 500 feet long. So take careful note here. Altitudine, latitudine, longitudine. Those are all ablative, and they're all giving us dimension. Our unit of measurement and the number, if possible, are in the genitive. Okay, so we have genitive here in orange, ablative in yellow. And we'll normally see things in this order. The last thing we'll be using numbers for is to talk about price. And again, we'll talk about time uh, in a much later lesson. For price or means of payment, we use the ablative. So, emo means I buy. What is it that I buy? I buy an agrum, which is a field. And how much am I buying that field for? I'm buying it for or with kentum aureis. I'm buying the field with or for a hundred gold pieces. This is the only unit of measurement we need for now. Okay. This is its ablative form. If I say servum quinque aureis wendo, wendo is I sell. What am I selling? I'm selling a servum. Okay, it's in the accusative case. There's the M that we have in both of these examples. I'm selling a slave quinque aureis. I'm selling a slave for five or with five gold pieces. Muto is I change or I exchange. Nawim gladio muto. What am I exchanging? I'm exchanging this thing here or this one. There are two possible 
versions of the word ship, I'm exchanging a ship with this, with a gladio, which you probably know is a sword. I'm exchanging a ship for a sword. It could also be I'm exchanging a sword for a ship. In Latin, it's not very clear. Pater, willam, magna pecunia, when did it? Well, sold. Who sold? Father sold. What did he sell? He sold a wilam. It's in the accusative case. And what did he sell it with or for? He sold it for magna pecunia. The father sold the house for a large sum of money. Okay, so everything that's in yellow here is ablative, and that's the currency. So, to help you prepare, reread lessons 21 and 22, review the worksheets that correspond to those lessons, know the verbs MO, Wendo, and Muto, definitely know the numbers. That includes Roman numerals, ordinals, and cardinals. Know the currency, which is going to be our race, okay, unless it's some object that's being exchanged. Know the unit of measurement, which for our purposes now is just pedum. And know the dimensions in their ablative form. Altitudine, latitudine, longitudine. And that's it. Good luck studying. Walete.